Okay, welcome back everyone to Swan's Cast. So we're just going to review yesterday's um, thumping win against Nottingham Forest. Um, and while you are here, if you do like the video, don't forget to leave a like. It does massively support the channel and also subscribe if you want to keep up to date with anything else we do in the future. So we've got a new introduction today. So I want to introduce you all to John. Hi guys. So yeah, he's uh, going to give his expert views on the matter as well. And he'll be popping in <laughs> going forward. <laughs> When he is, I think expert time. expert is pushing it a bit, but uh, <laughs> come on, let's go. That's all right. We we, we all know uh, you're an expert and a seasoned Swans fan. But yeah, so Leo, yeah, start with you then. What do you reckon about yesterday? How do you feel about the match? Yeah, well, really enjoyed it. Always good to new, uh, absolutely hammer a team, which is uh, makes it easier to talk about, really. But uh, no, I can't remember the last time we scored five goals in a game. Um, solid again at the back. I know they pushed a bit coming out. Half time, which we expect maybe, really, and you know, two 0 down at half time, and they made two changes. You'd expect them to come at us. I think the penalty helped us back into the game. But apart from that spell after half time, we were comfortable all the way through. Even with you know making some changes that we did, we looked uh, we looked comfortable, and some players coming in put their hand up. I think for uh, selection in the league. Yeah, indeed. So um, not only is it the first time we've scored five goals this year, but it's the first time we've scored more than two this season. So. Um... I guess probably I didn't see it coming anyway. I think everyone is it's sort of a little bit of a meme at the moment. Two nil or two one swans, so that's kind of like what everyone says in the predictions. So what do you reckon then, John? What's your view on the match? Uh, to be honest, I thought it was superb. I mean, um, considering the amount of changes that he made to the to the starting eleven, a lot of players coming in who haven't had much game time this year. I I thought we were brilliant, to be honest with you. Um, like you said, I I didn't see it coming at all. I was confident we'd get the result, but I I, yeah. I didn't I didn't. Uh, see a five-one incoming, no. But yeah, like like Lee said, I mean, there's a couple of players now who've come in and they've 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 you know they've put themselves forward for uh for regular regular starting spots. In my opinion, I thought Jan Dander was superb. I mean, he doesn't always get the plaudits he deserves. I thought he was brilliant, and th that goes for five or six of them. I mean, Liam Callan was superb, but I mean. Again, does you know looking further ahead? Does he dislodge sort of low and an IU? It's tricky for him to get into the into the team, but I mean he's done he's done everything he can. But yeah, all in all, I thought it was thought it was a brilliant performance. To be fair, yeah. Yeah, I think he's definitely a solid option coming off the bench. And um, you mentioned Jan Danda, and maybe not the most uh, reputable things that go off, but the Wales online player ratings they summed up his performance quite well. I think that it was a solid out in. Maybe he wasn't the one getting applauded for yesterday and he was kind of um, in the background a little bit, but at the same time doesn't disregard how well I think that he did do. And he got an assist as I well. In the first half, I, started, uh, I started thinking in the first half that he was quiet. He was quiet uh, being asked to play in that sort of three in the middle when he was sort of picking up the spaces behind the front two. Yeah. And he's a bit more effective. So I started thinking he was quiet, but it's, that's the sort of role he's been asked to do yesterday. And then he did come into the game and he had some class touches and yeah. the ball he played wide. The goal, um, and but it's the same when Fulton and Smith play in that role, they're sort of quiet, you don't see them, they do the dirty work, and it's great that Dander can come in and do that now, which he's shown yesterday, and he can play the sort of advanced role as well. Yeah, well, um, I think the two highlights for me is he did get the assist for Grimes's goal, but I think you give more credit for the finish on that one than the assist. Um, but I think there was one period in the second half, quite near the end, I think it might have been just before he picked up that yellow card that for time wasted. Well, he, he got played in and he sort of ran up to the corner, kept the ball, came back in field, and then I think he got fouled in the end. Um, but his control on the ball then just showed the quality that he has got. And it's only a little thing. It didn't really come to much, but it just showed a little bit of composure and seeing the game out and controlling it well. Especially, I know it was 5-1 at the time, but you still got to you know, do a job. You can't get complacent on that. But uh, that, that that was just... I just watched him by there and thought he looked good. Um, okay, so... I think I agree with both of you. Didn't really see it come in. Um, very good uh, good watch. And you can't really ask for anything more, can you? A good solid debut for the new sign-in. And um, everyone that did come into the team put in a solid performance. I think I would say the only one I've got a little bit of a... Not question mark, and it's probably been harsh, but Joel um, Latabodier, I think the goal, he probably was at fault for their goal and could have probably done a little bit better, but that's probably the only negative I could say 
for the match. What do you reckon about yeah, that? I think apart, 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 apart from the mistake, I think he looked right. He seemed to pin man Bennett and Gray. He just seemed to win everything that come their way. I know they scored the goal from mistake, but I think best him, because he's quite young as well, and he, I think best get a mistake like that yeah. out in a game where you win 5-1 rather than like an important lead yeah, game. So definitely. He's probably not likely to do something like that again. It's a good learning to return for him. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's, probably, that's probably the only sort of mark on the game yesterday. But as I said, I was yeah. probably being a bit harsh. But you know, if you're going to pull out yeah. something as a negative, then that's unlike you said. But it's fine. I'm not saying you, no one should be scared to make a mistake. It's good to make a mistake because obviously, then you hopefully won't do it again when the repercussions maybe are bigger. Okay, then. So if we yeah. move on, so um, we touched on the fact that the Swans haven't scored more, more than two goals in a in a game this season. But Liam Cullen, obviously, hasn't maybe started that many games. I think he hasn't scored this season so far. And he's getting two in this match. So what do we make about Liam Cullen's performance? John, we know... I, I thought he was... Yeah, I, I, I thought he was superb. I mean, I think a lot of fan, a lot of Swans fans know what he's all about. I mean, he's, he's, he's scored buckets of goals for the under-23s. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a step up again to do it in the first team. But, I mean, he's... He's doing everything that's asked for him, to be fair. I mean, he's got to be knocking on the door for a starting position now, in my opinion. But then again, who would you take out of the team to fit him in? But um, yeah. he's doing he's doing everything that's asked for him. He can't do any more. And I thought I thought he was brilliant, to be fair. Yeah, his two goals topped off a, a brilliant all-round display for me. Yeah. yeah, it was just unfortunate with him coming off with an injury when he's on a hat-trick. I think he probably would have been gutted yeah. with that, to be honest. Um, but I think as well, you're saying about um, who would you drop to let him in? Maybe, you know, you don't, and he's a good option coming off the bench. And well, yeah. At his yeah, age exactly. as well, he probably wouldn't mind that so much. But I'm not sure. I think all of our forwards have a different quality, and I'm not sure if Low or AU started alongside him. That ball comes in from Routledge. I don't think it comes in from either of the other two with the same no, quality. Yeah, so I think a lot of credit right. also needs to go to Routledge. Um, yeah, he just point. seemed to know where the run was, and the finish as well was... It was brilliant, like straight back across the keeper. Didn't um, didn't Routledge didn't Routledge go off with a knock as well? Quite yeah, early. yeah. It was not long after that he took a knock and he had to he had to go off and um, well, he, he looked like he was out to uh, have a good impact. He had a good impact on the Stevenage game as well. Didn't he? he scored in that one? So you know we're not seeing that much of him, but what yeah. we are seeing he's maybe once. Yeah, he's showing his quality. Yeah. He's showing he's still got it. He's good experience. The squad. He's always got to touch a clock. Yeah. And I think, again, like coming back to what I said, you have the experience of Routledge assisting the up and coming youngster. And I think that was a good combination to see as well. Yeah. So, what do you reckon Cullen, about Cullen. Cullen and Lee? Yeah, with Cullen, I think like both of the, both of his chances he took so well. I think I think they were only the two chances he had in the game. I know he had one in the second half where it was a bit of a scramble and he was on the floor but I think those are the only two sniffs he had a goal really and dispatched them quite easily so he looks quite sharp he's quite good in the box you know and finishing yeah. those two I hope, I, hope, I hope he's not too badly injured because I'd like to see him have more game time I know we were he, he did have Covid didn't he earlier on in the season so I think he had he was, Covid which is why he didn't feature in the yeah. first cup game I believe he was still in isolation yeah. afterwards so I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to see him now hopefully he's not injured with that confidence having more game time because we've been calling for it and I know it was, it was a bit harsh again, but I was a bit critical when, like, if you look at games like Barnsley on, on the Saturday night, we were 2 hill up and cruising. I don't see why you can't bring him on for 10 minutes to give him a run out, give him some confidence. I think at the that time, harsh, but... yeah, I think at the time, perhaps Cooper was like maybe looking at him for midweek game. And yeah, you, yeah, I watched his, his post match um, actually interview and he mentioned the can like Callan mentioned the fact that that game was called off, being a bit disappointed about it. So um, maybe he was in line to step in for that one. Um, that's great. I'm, I'm assuming at they a, would have already known a... the team perhaps before, or at least the ideas yeah. of where he was going because it was such a quick turnaround. They probably would only have like one training session if, if that in between the two games, if they had happened. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah but I think he's been, he's been, he was class yesterday and I think, like you said, he's doing everything. That's and and he, him, which makes he me offers... No, I th- like. I just want to echo what Luke said. No, he, I think he offers something different to what we've already got as well. I mean, he doesn't, from what I've seen of the game, he doesn't get too much involved in the build-up. You know, he doesn't. But as soon as that ball comes into the box, you know, he's, he's he looks deadly. He, he reminds me of maybe maybe a bit of a sort of over comparison, but sort of 
a Sergio Aguero sort of player. He, he might not he might not see him for sixty minutes of the game. He gets yeah. one chance in the eighteen yard box, and you're confident he's going to put it away. Like so, but yeah, he offers us something different to to what's already there. So yeah, he ticks all the boxes for me. And with his, with his age as well, he's only going to get better. I think. Yeah, I see what you mean for the comparison with Aguero. Um, I mean, look, Aguero's world class. We're not saying that, but you're just saying like you know he's kind of got the same sort of frame. Don't, in the he's stature, not yeah. bigger. He's a bit of a nagging yeah. striker, and he's clinical. What I mean by nagging is like yeah, exactly. he's a bit of a thorn in your side. You know he's always behind you. If you make a mistake, he's going to be on it. Like like the ball yeah, exactly. He doesn't give he doesn't give the, the centre back there, and he was in between the two defenders and managed to finish it. So, yeah, um, exactly. And I don't think he's he's the type that doesn't give a defender a sort of a, a moment's peace. He's always he'll close down. He'll chase last causes. You know he's he's a bit of a, a bit of a sort of. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a throwback striker in a way. You know, somebody who will run all day and not always get applauded. But yeah, he, he impressed me hundredfold yesterday. I thought he was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good game. Okay, another player. I just about that as well. I know it's been. Look oh, sorry, no, I was no, only going to say. You know, like I've seen rumours about. Um, they were like, and I don't think it's going to happen. But rumours about like bringing Boney in as a player, <laughs> play as you play for like six months. I hate to see them do that. And. You know, they can and lose some game time. I'd rather just stick with him and give him game time. I think that's gone now. As much yeah. as I like Bony, I think that's gone now. The only way I would be all right with that happening, I wouldn't mind him doing it, but, you know, he needs to know that he'd be, if someone gets injured, maybe he's there then as like fourth choice. And that's why he's pay as you play. So if it's the worst, like if this injury to Cullen now is long term, his ankle could be a couple of weeks potentially, if it's a bad one. Yeah. Um, I'd say AU or Low went down. Then it wouldn't be so bad, but I think yeah. the main aspect of if that deal happened, and with the rumours, and like we'll stress, they are rumours, is the coaching capacity part of it, which yeah, I, I like guess that would point be the main well. part of it. But um, it probably isn't going to happen. Yeah. Let's be honest. I, I we've got that um, Morris is in as well, isn't? Yeah, yeah so he's an interesting yeah. one. I'm not really sure where he's going to play him. It, it looks like another <laughs> low in terms of like winger into striker, but can he also occupy the space behind them in certain games? I don't know. But it's a good option, and there's another dilemma for different teams to have. And we already, you know, we're doing well already. So it's another thing we can throw at people if something's not working or catch people off guard, like Brentford potentially. Are they going to be expecting that that sort of player from us? But we'll discuss that a little bit more uh, later on. Um, moving on with this game then. So Grimes, another player, managed to bag two goals. He's been in for a fair amount of criticism earlier this season. But personally, I think he's, uh, you know, with second league, he's the captain. So he plays 90 minutes nearly every week. And like I said, we're second. So surely that he's doing something right. What do you make of his performance? I think I, I think it's, he deserves that performance in a way because, of, like you said, he has been getting a lot of stick, mainly this season. I mean, I, I to, to me, I think it's unjustified. But, you know, you know, a song. Some sections of fan base are like, but I, I think, yeah, I think he's, he was, I'm happy that he's had that performance because to me, he didn't do anything different apart from maybe the 30 yard or he didn't do anything different really to what he doesn't do every other week. Yeah. Obviously you add two, go- two goals to that performance and all of a sudden he's a, you know, he's a nine out of 10, but, yeah. but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm happy for him. I mean, he's got some stick this year, but I, I think he's answered a few of his critics yesterday. But yeah, but yeah, by adding two goals and and the the, the first was uh, was an absolute thunderbolt when I saw. Yeah, I thought he was brilliant yeah. again yesterday. Yeah. So to go with his two goals, he had fifty seven touches of the ball, eighty two percent pass and accuracy. Um, a couple, well, two out of two shots on target. Um, I, well, I mean, it's not it's not a lot of, it's not like tons of stuff, but that's the sort of stuff he does that every game really. And, um, I think... Well, yeah, exactly, yeah, but, but because you add two goals to a a, a bog standard performance, and then obviously it puts him up sort of up, you know, a, a, a nine nine and a half out of ten. But but yeah, like you say, I don't think he done a lot different to what he doesn't always do. I mean, obviously the penalty helps, and and he, he hit a thirty yarder, which was you know, which was a brilliant strike. But other than that, I think he need he, he sort of knitted up play really well, and he. He, he ran up and down, he broke up play, done what he usually yeah. does. But yeah, so had, uh, again, I think he was brilliant. Yeah, on top yeah. of that, so there's one block shots, two interceptions, two tackles. So, this, I mean, it's not the game where he's going to have to do the most defending, really, because especially the first half, like, they barely touched us. So I think a lot yeah. of those stats I've just read out in terms of the clearances would be just, well, 
maybe some of them from first half, but he, he got subbed off as well, like 50 something minutes in. So, um, I, I, that's, I think, yeah, very good performance. Nice to see him actually put in one in from distance. He's just trying them now and again. And we always say in between us that we think he should score a few more because he's, he's got a good shot and he's just been a bit unlucky. Um, and the penalty as well. I, I, did it Andre I used the one that took over penalties off him? Because he was doing them under yeah. Potter because he'd done the one in the Man City game. Um, yeah. I think maybe after Selena did that shocker. That uh, infamous. Oh, in uh, Birmingham, that was it. Yeah. Oh, West Brom, was it? Didn't we go to that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, it all looked so good at the start, didn't it? But uh, <laughs> yeah, the less said about that, the better, I think. <laughs> I mean, Andre I was scores his penalties, but I don't know if I. I just felt like I felt a bit harsh that Grimes lost penalties to AU. I mean, AU's the star player, and perhaps it's something that. You just give him to keep him happy, but Grimes steps up. He's kind of just there. He's quiet. He never kicks off, and he always does a job. I think he's reliable. It's what you reckon, Lee? Yeah, not not much to add on what you two said. Really, I think he's he's classy. You know, he was doing that performance. It's like you know, getting the plaudits for performance because, like you said, I think he does that. But a week in, week out, he knits that midfield together with the back three. I think he's the first one that comes to take the ball. You know, off the goalkeeper, picking up in that pocket. I don't think, I know we're stacked in midfield, but I think he's the only player that does that. I know everyone wants to see us play football, he's the only one that sort of comes back and offers himself into these positions. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just great for him to get a goal. Maybe overthinking it a bit, I was thinking that with Horahan coming in, left-footed midfield player, he's obviously going to take over the set pieces from him. Um, I think maybe he was sort of, you know, making a statement performance there. Because um, I, I don't know who... We might come on to it later, but I don't know how out of the midfield three, Grimes, Smith and Fulton, I don't know who loses out for Horahan to come in. I think, so maybe that's Grimes putting his case forward. Yeah, I think well. um, they'll, they'll, like Jan Dander played this one. We were at home against a team that we'd expect to beat and there's going to be changes because of the cup. <laughs> but against Brentford, I think it'll go back to three rather than like the attacking Jan Dander yeah. being there. It'll be like it was Fulton, Smith, Grimes before. One of them might drop out for Hurahan, and then they just come off the bench, um, quite likely. So there's four options rotating for three spaces, unless we maybe at home and we're heavily favourites, and maybe Danda plays as the more attacking option. So I think, like what you said, um, I would have been gutted to see him maybe fall down the peck in order, but I think that's yeah. why George Byers has ultimately gone on loan to Portsmouth instead. Um, yeah, that's, that's good for Dando as well. I mean that he's sort of he sort of said to Dando, "That's your space now, isn't he?" Over over bias because he could have put him in and Dando might have gone down. So it's yeah. good that. Uh, I do feel a bit sorry for bias because he had that ankle injury. Like I want to go back to like last January, February. I think he made a comeback after lockdown. Um, a bit of a weird time though that was, wasn't it? And then he had something wrong with his groin. I want to say, yeah, and that's kept him out until like well this January. So what, he's played like a handful of games in a year. And we're doing so well in the league now that it's just one of them where you can stay here and maybe play some games now and again. Or you can go on yeah. loan, play nearly probably every game and get back to where you were, I guess. Well, that's probably the yeah. situation he finds himself in and it's probably come at such an unfortunate time. The likelihood is if we did go up, he probably would be someone that's maybe looked to move on. Which maybe wouldn't have been the case yeah. had he not been injured. But, you know, I guess what happens in football. Um, okay then, I know you wanna you got some stuff to say on the next one then, John. So Ollie Cooper, what do you make of his performance? Um, again, it's it's uh, sounded a little bit like a broken record because it was such a good team performance from a lot of the boys. But I'm, I again, I think he was brilliant. I mean, as a cameo performance, he came on as a sub. He did in the second half thing because I was in work. Yeah. I didn't. I'm not gonna pretend like I watched the full ninety, but. Um, but yeah, again, it's a youngster coming through, staking his claim. He's he's put a stamp on his performance, and he's he's done everything I was asked for him. He topped it off with a goal. So, so yeah, I'm happy for him. Brilliant! It's brilliant to see the 
the academy is still churning out this talent. I mean, the the amount of players who we've seen come through Landor, get into the first team, get sold on for big bucks, and then it's just a, like a conveyor belt. You know, you've got to set another string of players now coming through and they're chomping at the bit to get into the first team. So yeah, I th- again, I think um, I think Ollie Cooper was was brilliant, but he was one of seven, eight, nine, maybe the full 11, 14, you could say who were superb on the day, yeah. Yeah, that's uh well, I think you summed it up brilliantly there. I think he came on for yeah. Grimes or Horahan. But um I, I, I think he's more isn't he like an attacking midfielder? Or is he a centre mid? I'm not really sure. Maybe I wanna he's say he's a cam as well, but I am not too sure. Yeah, I would I would say he's more of a yeah, ten and sure. an eight, but I'm not too sure. No. I think you could okay, probably so. like you say you could probably do both, yeah. Well, I think Cooper likes them yeah. to be able to do both. I think that's the way he's trying to mould them. Maybe you've got yeah. the ones that are a little bit more attacking and the ones that are a little bit more defensive, but kind of wants them to be fluid in between, I think. Yeah. So he needs to be able to do both, like the way he's moulding Garrick into a win back, wing back, it seems. Um, but if it's just extra options, like you're saying. So, you know. Yeah, and we need cover a right back, yes. so right wing back. Um, yeah, but credit, credit, credit to Cooper, though, like with this, like not, um, not only Cooper, Steve Cooper, obviously, but um, credit to him because he's sort of, he's not sort of building a system around like players, he's just got the system that we've got, and every player can you fit, fit into in. it. And he, he's molded them into the system that we've got, and yeah. that's why you can chop and change players in and out all the time because everybody just fits into what he's what he's trying to do. And yeah. it's just like Cullen coming in and Cooper coming in; they all know, they all know what's expected of them in any position that they're asked to play in. Yeah. Um, okay, so a few bits on the rest of the team then, just a, a little bit more brief maybe than. Than the, the rest that we've discussed so far. I want to say Ryan Manning, I think, was very, very good. Yeah. I mean, we've got to talk about the penalty, though. And <laughs> as much as it benefited us, it's not the sort of thing I would like to regularly see from uh, our players. I mean, you can never complain when you get the penalty, but if you're going to complain if that happens against you, then you've got to be honest and say oh, God, yeah. Yeah. that it probably was a bit soft. There was a little bit of contact, but yeah. then you probably went looking for it. And I think the angle at which the referee is standing and seen it at, maybe you could say Manning was a bit wise to the way that he would look. He wouldn't necessarily, because the way Manning got himself in between the player and the ref, didn't he? So it probably looked like he got tripped over. But from the cameras, you can clearly see that it was not a penalty. But um, you could say it changed the game if you're a Forest fan, really. But I think on the face of it, the way that we dominated the first half, it would have been harsh if they came back into it a tool for us. Um, I mean, I mean, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was a debate whether it was even inside the box, wasn't it? I think but, I it mean, was in the yeah, box. Yes, it's, it's. Oh, it was. Yeah, it's it's soft, but I mean, ag- again, we've we've seen those given against us, and you've got to have the football mouse to be able to, yeah. if you feel contact in the box, go down. And uh, uh, I exactly. mean, like you say, it was soft. If that's if that's given against us, I'm pulling my hair out. But then again, you know, it has it's, been plenty of it's times. one of those things. Should we just go back to exactly. Bristol City earlier this season? <clears throat> <laughs> it, it comes, it comes, it does, it does come around, though, doesn't it? I mean, we've had our fair share of pretty poor decisions this season, anyway. Like. The Wednesday, the Sheffield Wednesday goal at home, which was disallowed last minute for. No I still don't know what that was disallowed for. Yeah, well, that one and the Bristol City. And then you've pen, got the Bristol City pen, where yeah. Conor Roberts just fell over, didn't yeah. he? And the guy tripped over the back of him. Take those two. That's away. right. We'd be yeah. top yeah. of the league, just saying. <laughs> those two decisions, and we'd be top. But I'm sure other teams <laughs> could quote the same sort of things and argue their case. But what was he going to say again? Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to say, I think like it is quite. You know, it's it's not great to see us get those penalties. It's almost like you know you don't feel comfortable getting them. But um, I think you could one thing you could say about us over the years is we're not street wise enough. Like how yeah. many times you've seen teams get those penalties against us and five six players surrounding the referee. And yeah. it is nice to see. It is nice to have a bit of an edge like that sometimes trying to you know get something, but not all the time. I know what you're saying. I think the bottom line is. Um, sometimes you don't get anywhere being too nice in football, and if that's how the game is being exactly. played. You're missing out if you don't. As much as you do want to admit, it's up to the sort of authorities and the way it's refed to make sure this is stamped out. And as much as it's not, especially with the introduction of VAR now, and I know we don't have VAR in the championship, but the increase in penalties awarded in the in the Premier League, this yeah. sort of thing needs to be stamped out by the way it's refereed, and that's the bottom line. 
Um, and the, the thing is, if 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 Manning stays on his feet there, the ball gets cleared. He's not getting any thanks from anyone. And if they go up the other end then and and score, you know, it's a whole different game. So I mean, yeah. in a way, he's got to be applauded for for using his football now. But yeah, like you say, it's it's a soft one. And if I was given against me or against us, I would be pulling my head out. But then again, you know, he's he's played the game the way that. Every other team in the league plays yeah, the game, exactly. so I mean you've got to be streetwise. So yeah, there's so, definitely yeah. worse occasions. I would oh, call no. it quite a dive. So oh no, but it was it was so. soft. But yeah. you know, it was... yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. I think oh, I'm, it's not as bad as a dive, but uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, a debut for Horahan. Then I think he looked impressive. Um, definitely showed what he can offer from set pieces and. I think he's quite a little bit taller than the rest of our midfield as well, so that's another thing he's going to bring. But yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, quite. I liked his performance. I thought he looked, uh, he looked quite neat on the ball. I thought, like he didn't, he didn't do anything to light up. I mean, because it was, you know, it was his debut. But he, um, he seemed to turn up in these pockets of space where we needed, uh, we needed an option and just play a quick one-touch pass out of it. Yeah, he seemed to pop up in the right time. And then, like you said, his left foot from deliveries is going to be. Is going to be dangerous in the running, I think, especially with the aerial threat that we've got now. Um, you know, Gwehi coming forward, Cabango scoring headers, Bennett as well. If he can whip some balls in like that coming in, we're going to get some more set piece goals. And Connor Roberts is long throw. He did do one so thing I in think, the first yeah. half. Um, I think there was, I can't remember who was going through, it might be Knockout or someone, but he tracked him back and he did a good sliding tackle, which yeah, showed he was well, yeah. up for, um, well up for his new team, I guess. And Nothing's really been said about it so much. I've not really seen it t- talked about that much, but his contract's up in the summer with Aston Villa. So um, I can't see him going back to Villa. And if he has a good spell here, surely he's going to want to stay rather than go to another new club. And, well, I, maybe it depends on promotion, relegation, what offers he has, but especially if we go up, I would say he's nailed on now. We could probably have a very good chance of keeping him. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. You, know, you never know. He might not play well for us, but I'm quite excited about what he's going to bring. What do you think, John? Yeah, I, I thought he was superb. The way he just slotted in, I mean, you it, the way he played, what i seen of it, he looked like he'd been in the team for 10, 15, 20 games. You know, he wasn't none of this two or three games to bed him into the side. He just slotted in and he he done his work nice and neat and tidy and he looked like he'd been playing with us or with the teammates, with the boys for months and months. So, yeah, I thought he was brilliant, what i seen of him. Um, I think... Dead balls, everyone knows how good he is from dead balls, you know, corner situations. And yeah. I think for Grimes' goal, I think Grimes has taken that corner if Hurahan isn't on the pitch, which obviously would have, wouldn't have resulted in, in him putting it in the top end. So, I Maybe mean, that's going to result but, yeah. in more goals for Grimes. I mean, I think he, the other <laughs> yeah. goal he scored this season came from a corner, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, perhaps it was, but yeah, all, all in all, I think Kurahan's, um his attitude was brilliant. I think uh, the way he slotted in and you know, everything neat and tidy, and I think, uh, I think he was, I think he was a brilliant addition, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. I think. I agree. Yeah, I think good. Uh, good luck picking that uh, midfield three now going forward. <laughs> the competition they got in there, all of them: Grimes, Fulton, Smith, and Horahan and Danda. Good yeah. luck picking three out of out of them. Well, it's good, um, it's good competition and um, it gives us yeah, it's great, well, yeah, it's going, Which, it's especially when you're allowed five it's subs as well. Five, the five subs at the moment yeah. as well could, hope, you know, they hopefully all get a good enough amount of game time and they can come on and change it. If we need to bring someone on and Dan needs to come on, a bit more attacking, or maybe bring in someone like Smith or Felton on and being a bit more defensive. So um, definitely good, good options going forward. And the last thing then that we want to maybe speak about for this game, some injuries then. So we've got Wayne Routledge and Liam Cullen. We mentioned about Liam Cullen's earlier, so we hope that's not too bad. I also feel a bit bad for Wayne Routledge. doesn't get that much game time. He really looked frustrated and gutted, really, when he had to come off. Um, you know, he's been a long time servant for the club. We don't see so much of him, so it's nice to see him get run out. And he put a very good ball in for the first goal, so... Just want to say, hopefully he's not for too long. Even though we're not necessarily using him week in, week out, he still offers something when he does come on. I guess that's always the risk as well. And I mean, with with the the pack schedule, I suppose the only sort of 
um, pause, I don't know if you can call it a positive, but I mean, Callan and Routledge picking up Knox isn't really going to affer- affect our strongest 11 now for Brentford. So at least, I don't want to sound sort of a little bit harsh, but at least if anyone was going to pick up Knox, you'd rather it be a fringe player rather than sort of a, a you know, a stalwart of the midfield. So, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's that's a slight positive, but yeah, obviously you never want to see any any players picking up injuries. But at least it was players who aren't sort of you know yeah, exactly. in in the first eleven as much, I guess. But yeah, and Rowley's is still going to be there and the team to sort of offer his guidance and and leadership. Yeah, and exactly. Uh, I think that's kind of why he's he's mainly here now um, at his age. Was he like thirty six? I think. Yeah, he's round about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's definitely going to be a coach. He knows as well. Like, uh... I think he knows though now, like a longish term injury, like you know, like a hamstring Could or something. Now yeah. probably, yeah. probably end his career, isn't it? But um, yeah, well, you know, he'll be yeah. class again. Always, always class when he comes into the team. Okay, well, yeah, it was a, a good, good, uh, good match then. All thoroughly enjoyed it, and um, so we'll, try, we'll end that uh, one here. One more thing. Yeah, go on. One more thing to mention: my man Bennett coming back, absolute class again. <laughs> oh, he was his favourite yeah, player. He's... Got to give him a mention. He was what? solid at the back. I think the commentary for the game on BBC were just <clears throat> giving him plaudits, saying how he was just like locked unbeatable, really, and um, just, just a bit of a machine. Everything and heads, everything away. To you, too, you, 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 you hear a lot about defenders having to be able to play out and not get me wrong he's good with his feet but when he needs to when he needs to put it up in row's end or yeah. when there's no nonsense he doesn't he doesn't shy away from it he'll put his foot through it and he'll put it safe which is old school defending in a way but I mean he's not afraid to do it I and mean, he's not afraid to mix it up as well so yeah I oh, thought he was another he just, one which was brilliant yeah. he just looks like he's coming he's just sort of like an older guy feels like he's just sort of there with all the kids a little bit and he's like not yeah. bothered. He's just there, like <laughs> cruising along in the middle of a mall, doing his thing every day. But, just getting but the at the done. same time, yeah, and at the same time, picking up eight, eight out of ten every week. So you know, yeah, yeah. I thought he was brilliant. I never, but uh, I never forget uh, the day I saw him in Rassoy. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on his own, wasn't he? Yeah, he's sitting on his own. <laughs> I did say hello. It was after I can't remember who we played, but we won. So on the way out, I was just like, "Well, I mate. He gave me the nod. <laughs> but yeah, on that note, I think. Uh, on the pitch, just calm. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, I think we'll call that one a day. Um, we will do a quick preview of the Brentford game as well, so that'll be out after this one. But yeah, don't forget to like if you did enjoy, and yeah, subscribe for more Swans content and other things going forward. So, see you later, guys. Cheers, lads. Yeah.